going on YouTube? I just want to let y'all know that whatever you do, do not settle down. All right, I'm talking about relationships. Do not settle down. If you don't listen to any of the other advice I give you, listen to this one. All right, now first I let me apologize. Uh, y'all know how I do when I'm rolling in my car and I want to talk, I'm going to talk. And sometimes you won't be able to see me because I'm black and you can't see me in the dark. So I just let y'all see the view. All right. And welcome to my new subscribers and viewers. All right. But first off, don't settle down. I don't care if you're young or old. I'm talking to everybody. Do not settle down. Now, why am I saying this? Because I got a girl that I'm with and I've been with her for, what, almost nine years now? And she helps me with my business and all of this. And you mean to tell me I'm telling you not to settle down? All right. Well, listen to what I'm saying. First off, let's break this down. The word settle is a negative term. I don't settle. First off. Settle is something that you do when you can't get what you wanted to get. So you just take whatever you can get. Whether they're going to get exactly what you plan on getting in the first place. So that's the first part. The second part is down is a negative term. So if you're trying to get up to the top, then why in the world would you do anything that has to do with being down? So this is why I say don't settle down. A lot of people you see in these relationships are in horrible moods all the time. They're miserable. They're upset. They're disappointed. And they feel stuck because they settled down. So... What am I getting at here? What I'm getting at is you should partner up. Partner is a positive term. That's something that when you bring something to the table and another person or a party brings something to the table, you guys become partners. Then the word up is opposite of down. Positive term. You're going up. All right? So that's all I'm getting at. Don't settle down. Settle down is when you're going to settle down and tie yourself down to a person that you really don't care to be with, but you're just going to stick with them because y'all have kids or because you feel like that's all you can get or you lonely or whatever the case may be. But don't settle down. Partner up. Pick somebody that's going to bring some value and add value to you in your situation. And you should add value to another person in their situation. You have to remember in this life, the world revolves around you. That sounds self-centered, don't it? But ultimately it's not. Because at the end of the day, you can't experience anybody else's lifestyle while you're alive on this earth. So what you have to do is you have to do what makes you happy. While also doing your best not to hurt others along the way. But at the end of the day, you can only live your life. That's the only one you can experience. If somebody else knows how to do it another way, then you let me know. But as far as I can, as far as I can see, you can only experience your life. So you got to do what makes you happy. And if settling down is what you end up doing, you're not going to be happy. And, and, and that's a waste of your life if you're not striving to be better every day and striving to be happy every day. So... Do me a favor because, and think about this too. If you're working, especially if you you one of my subscribers, you're probably an entrepreneur or an aspiring entrepreneur. If you're going to work this hard to be a successful entrepreneur and make it in life, why in the world would you mess that up by settling down? It's going to go all go to waste. It's going to be a waste of time because you're settled down and you can't you can't function properly on your business because your home isn't taken care of. So make sure that the person that you're with is your partner. Partner up. And I'm not saying that when you pick the person, you're just picking them to use them and see what they can offer to you. Of course, you have to genuinely like that person, love that person, or potentially see yourself loving that person and being with them long term. But I'm just saying that that person should be your partner in life. That's why it's called life partner. All right? So just remember this message. If you don't remember anything else, don't settle down. Partner up. Thank y'all for watching. Thank y'all for subscribing and thank y'all for liking.